Hello, my name is Momo Olape. I serve as Director of Student Life at Whitman College here at Princeton University. There are six residential colleges where students are placed randomly. And because students are placed randomly, you get to live with people from all over the world, from different backgrounds, with a lot of different abilities and interests. Our six residential colleges create a close-knit environment perfect for living, studying, and relaxing. As an incoming first-year student, one of the most exciting moments is figuring out which of our six colleges you will call home. Hello, my name is Darlene Seppen. I am the Director for Student Life at Marie College. Particularly excited about the unique intersection between classroom learning and lived experiences and how they both contribute to your education. Hi everyone, my name is Joe Ferlon. I am the Director of Student Life for Butler College. Welcome class of 2024. When you join a residential college, you'll become an advisee or affectionately known as a Z. Each Z has an RCA or a residential college advisor, and it's their job to advise, support, and care for each of you. Every residential college has an associated college office, which houses four staff members, the head of the college, the dean of the college, the director of student life, and the director of studies. The two of these staff members that you'll interact with the most during your first two years at Princeton are the director of studies and the director of student life. The director of studies is kind of there for all things academic related. If you're struggling in a class and you need a tutor or you need to discuss with someone about dropping a class or how to better manage your workload, the director of studies is someone you go to. On the flip side, the director of student life is there to manage all things about your daily life outside of academics. They can handle issues you might have with your living situation or just things you want to talk through about your daily life. They're there to make sure that you're supported in an emotional and mental health type way. There are also a lot of facilities available in your residential college. So we have laundry services. Laundry is free at Princeton, so do as many loads as you want. We also have printing services. They're also free. There's always students available to just like help out. While each college might look a little bit different in terms of the architecture, they all will have a dining hall, common room, laundry rooms, academic spaces, and even arts and entertainment resources. Res colleges are truly the heart of the residential experience on campus, and so it's where you'll meet some of your closest friends, share meals with professors, and learn from your peers outside of the classroom. Throughout the year, colleges have a chance to interact with each other through various competitions, social events, baking competitions, study breaks, whatever it might be, and all of these different events come together to help define university life. Hi class of 2024, I'm Olivia Weiner, the Director of Student Life in Forbes College. All of the colleges have some really amazing physical spaces. They are welcoming and we really have something for everyone. We have dance studios, music practice rooms, a ceramic studio, many libraries, game rooms, TV rooms, theaters, and some meditation spaces. Hi everyone, I'm Garrett Meggs, the Director of Student Life for Wilson College, and welcome to Princeton. Another unique aspect of the residential college is our College Council. This is a group of peer leaders who make all of the fun happen. They plan fun study breaks each week so that we can build a sense of community. They plan trips to the beach or to see Broadway shows in New York City. And they also help um, pick some really cool swag that you will get when you join a residential college at Princeton. I've been to 10 Broadway shows since coming to Princeton, all of them with tickets subsidized through Wilson College. But things just don't end there. As trips chair for Wilson, I planned a beach day, a trip to see the Radio City Rockettes, and a New York City Museum trip. Other trips through my college include sports games like the Sixers and the Yankees, apple picking, and even a New York City pizza tour. All of this means that almost every single weekend while you're at Princeton, there's somewhere you can go through your residential college, and you often don't have to pay a thing. I'm really excited to talk about this topic because I absolutely have an incredible amount of pride for my res college, Whitman. Even though um, you may only live in your residential college for the first two years, the resources, the um, college office staff, and everything stays with you throughout your time at Princeton. So it's a really awesome way to build pride and sense of community. During the pre-grade, which is when the entire first year class walks through Fitzrandolph Gate together at the beginning of their first year on campus, you're split up by residential college with each residential college's mascot um, and a lot of cheering and excitement as the class enters the gate together. 
Another really cool event that shows residential college pride is the Clash of the Colleges, where each res college competes uh, for the trophy. And I'm really excited to say that this year Whitman won. So as a result, you get to, whoever is living in these spaces, get to build relationships with uh, people that then they can develop throughout the years and then become lifelong friends, as evidenced by the strong alumni base that we have and that return here for reunion and a lot of other events because these connections don't just happen and, and end after four years, but they continue for your life. Hi, 2024. My name is Amy Ham Johnson and I'm the Director of Student Life at Rockefeller College, or Rocky. Our dining halls are another place where our communities come together over meals. Every residential college either has its own dining hall or shares a dining hall with another residential college. And then in addition to the residential colleges, we also have a dining hall in the Center for Jewish Life, which offers kosher meals. And when you're a student at Princeton, if you're a freshman or a sophomore, you're put on an unlimited meal plan, which means you can eat in the dining halls as many times as you want. And you're also free to go to any of the dining halls. Um, you're not restricted to the one that's part of your residential college. Um, additionally, every Every dining hall is really good about accommodating any dietary restrictions you might have. Since they're served in a buffet style, they have a wide variety of food to choose from. Additionally, they serve as one of the big social hubs at Princeton, so be ready to see a lot of people you know at meals and to have a lot of good conversations over some great food. At night, a lot of people study in the dining halls, so the staff will bring out uh, coffee, fruit, cereal, things like that, so that you can have something to munch on while you're studying with your friends late at night. In terms of logistics, the dining halls are open for three meals a day and usually have pretty big meal times so that in case um, you have a busy schedule, you can still make it to all three meals. But in case you don't, or if you want a fourth or fifth meal, we have another cafeteria in First Campus Center that's open for something called Late Meal, where you can get a meal between lunch and dinner or after dinner, and that's also part of your student meal plan. So after you commit to Princeton, um, towards the end of May or early June, you'll receive an email from housing and it will have a link to a housing survey. Just questions about your general living habits so that the rest college staff can properly match you with someone that you'll get along with and will be good roommates with. It's important to note that you cannot choose your roommate even if you have a friend that's also incoming freshman, just because we want you to get to know a lot of people and a lot of different types of people. Another important thing to note is that the rest college that you're assigned to is completely random. After housing receives your information, they will take about three to four weeks to create your roommate assignment and your housing assignment as well. Towards the middle of July, you will receive an email with your residential college assignment, your room assignment, as well as your roommate. After that, you're going to hear from your residential college advisor, your peer academic advisors, as well as the director of studies of your college, the director of student life of your college, and the head of college. They'll provide you with some information about what to expect when you get on campus and what you can do before campus to help yourself get more acclimated to Princeton. It's also really important to start to get in touch with your roommate so that when you get to campus and are moving in, um, it'll seem like you already know them. I can't wait to see you all uh, at Princeton and uh, congratulations. They're super excited to welcome you to Princeton and it's gonna be a lot of fun. 